All right, guys, I'm about to show you the only time I use a tree for part of my fence. Uh, in general, it's a terrible idea because uh, the trees will grow around your fence. They corrode it. It breaks. You have metal inside the tree. The tree dies. You can't cut the tree down. There's all kind of problems with using trees uh, as part of your fencing. But there is one time when I tend to say it's a... Uh, not that it's appropriate, but it may be the only option. And there's some things you can do to prevent some of the problems you could have uh, with using a, a tree as part of your fencing for one of your posts. So I'm gonna show you that real quick. I'm gonna get set up and I'll, uh, I'll show you what I got going on. All right, guys, so if you look at that orange ribbon, that's marking uh, our property boundary. It comes through here. It goes back to, that's where I started the video and that clearing way over there. But what you can see is this side of our property is all swamp. So there's no standing water in here right now, but it's uh, it's very, very soggy. I mean, it's, it's very wet ground. So the problem I have in this area is I can't get equipment in here to drive heavy posts. And I can't even dig holes to set posts in. So when I need to put a brace pole in this swamp, what I do is... But every 12 or 1300 feet, I'll use one of these cypress trees. Uh, if I can find one that falls perfectly in line with our property, our property boundary or wherever I'm putting the fence. And uh, one of the most important things that I've found is you could just wrap your wire around this tree, but more likely you'll kill the tree and the tree will break your, your, uh, your fencing by corroding it. It'll, it'll really make it corrode fast. So what I do is I take some boards and I set them up where the wire won't touch the tree. So when I go to pull it tight, as the tree grows, it'll push these boards out and it'll always keep the wire off of the tree itself so the tree won't swallow up the wire. And if you look, I'm going around the tree and you can see I've set it where between the boards, the wire won't touch the tree. It's gonna go from board to board without touching the tree. So that's kind of the most important thing I find when I do this. So you'll see, I, that's the way I chose how to situate these boards. And uh, I'll use this as my pull going back to the river that way. And then uh, I've got another about 2000 feet on this property line. So I'll go through here and I'll uh, do some minor clearing of uh, any trees that are right in my way. And then I'll, uh, I'll find another tree a few thousand feet down there. Or sorry, about uh, 1,200 feet down there. I need to find probably two more. And uh, that's how we'll, we'll stretch this section of fence. So fencing in this swamp is a real pain because uh, as you could about imagine, is it's hard to set posts. Uh, so all your T-posts, everything you're gonna use are kind of a real pain. You're lugging everything through here by foot. And then uh, you got to actually pull your wire by hand. You can't ride alongside of it and drag it out. So it is terrible hard work. Uh, the good thing is, like I said, this whole stretch, I think is close to 3000 feet or a little bit over maybe. And I got one spot kind of in the middle uh, where I'll be able to access it again to get supplies and all. But I'll have to trudge seven or 800 feet easily in any direction going through this swamp. So it's going to be terrible. You look right through there you could see one of my uh one of my tree stands Good look. all right so i got that pulled out that's pretty terrible to pull five or six hundred feet of uh bar bar by hand through all that but i got it and one of the other things i like to do is i pretty much always will double wrap my posts whatever kind of posts they are so it's a tree in this case but uh i like to double wrap my posts so that uh there's almost no strain on your knots when you do that. So this one, I didn't have my pliers on me to cut it. So it looks kind of ugly. I left the tag in, but uh, it'll be all right. I'll make my one out there where you'll see it a little bit prettier. But yeah, I like to wrap it twice. That takes all the tension off the post. So I'll trudge back to the swamp one more time. And then uh, we're going to get over there and uh, strain this wire. And that'll give us our mark so we can come back through with our T posts and uh, we'll be able to see exactly where to where to set them to get them in a nice straight line. And yeah, this is a very nasty swamp in this little area. 
All right, so here's the other end of that uh, that line that I just pulled through the swamp. I'm about to pull it tight, and you can see I've got my little, uh, I don't even know what you call these little crimper things that it latches on to the, uh, to the barbed wire just with some pressure. I got me a little one-ton cable puller. I know you can use heavier ones, but uh, I don't like to put too much strain on these fences anyway. So a big one, you can uh, you can bust a wire, and <coughs> that's never a fun thing. I don't know if you've ever been around uh, barbed wire busting from tension, but uh, I try to avoid that. And then for my poles, I got not my normal. Normally, I set H brace wooden posts, but I had a few of these uh, uh, like two and a quarter inch. Uh, drill stem pipe or i don't know what size it is really it's over two inches though and uh these were 14 feet long and i drove them about uh eight eight feet or so into the ground with my big tractor and uh i put a second one i just braced to the bottom of it i didn't even put an h because uh i think it'll be plenty strong like this and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna terminate my electric fence on this post not the end post and then because it goes into the canal and I kind of need it to, to extend out there, I'm going to put a 16-foot cattle panel from this post right here. That's 8 feet, and it's going to go 8 feet out into the bayou, and that should keep my cows uh, on our property. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, ratchet this thing tight, and then I'm going to terminate the, uh, the wire, and I'll have my straight line so I can go through and set all of my T-posts. All right, so I got that terminated on this pole. Now we can uh, relieve some tension and see uh, see if what we got stays tight. All right, and you can see that is super tight. I can't hardly move it, so I think we'll be in pretty good shape. I'm gonna go through and uh, tie it off these metal poles, and then uh, we can come back with our. Uh, our T-post and we'll be about done here. So anyway, that's just some fun we have here in the south or I guess anywhere we have swamps. It can be a real bear to, to fence through those things. Got to get a little creative sometimes and uh, just use what you have and make it work. Anyway, I'll catch you on the next one.